readings from Lafayette Presbyterian Church on this Tuesday after the day of Pentecost. Continue the story of Joseph in Egypt. Let me recount that Jesus, Joseph had been sold by his brothers into slavery, bought by a man named Potiphar in Egypt. He advanced to be the chief steward for Potiphar, uh, being falsely accused by Potiphar's wife. Uh, he was thrown into prison, and in prison he had uh, done so well that he had been advanced to uh, the chief trustee in the prison. And we take up the story, well, as a chief trustee he had interpreted dreams for two of Pharaoh's servants. and. The one servant had promised that he would carry his name to Pharaoh so that he could receive justice. So we take up the story. Joseph is still in prison and the servant of Pharaoh had forgotten his promise. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh had a dream. He was standing by the Nile when out of the Nile, there came up seven cows, sleek and fat, and they grazed among the reeds. After them, seven other cows, ugly and gaunt, came up out of the Nile and started to uh, graze by the river by and then the cows that were sleek and ugly, gaunt and gaunt, ate up the seven fat cows. Then Pharaoh woke up. He fell asleep again, and he had a second dream. Seven heads of green, grain, healthy and good, were growing on a single stalk. After them, seven other heads of green appeared and they were scorched by the west wind. Then the heads of grain that were swallowed, the seven healthy grains of wheat were swallowed up by the ones that had been scorched by the wind. Then Pharaoh woke up. In the morning, his mind was puzzled. He sent for all the magicians and the wise men of Egypt. Pharaoh asked them to interpret his dream, and none of them could do it for him. Then the chief cupbearer cup said to Pharaoh, Truly I am reminded of my shortcomings. In Pharaoh was once angry with his servants, and he imprisoned me and the chief baker in the house of the captain of the guard. Each of us had a dream the same night, and each dream had 
a great meaning of its own. Now a young Hebrew was there, a servant of the captain of the guard. He told him our dreams, and he interpret. We told him our dreams, and he had interpreted them for us, giving each man the interpretation of his dream. And the things turned out exactly as he had interpreted them for us. I was restored to my position, and the other man was impaled. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph, and he was quickly brought from the dungeon. And when he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to Joseph, I had a dream and no one can interpret it, but I have heard it said that you can interpret dreams. Can you interpret this dream? I cannot do it, Joseph replied to Pharaoh, but God will give Pharaoh the answer he desires. May the Lord add his blessing to the and the hearing of his holy word. We'll continue the story tomorrow. Let us pray. Father, in this day, may we look to you for the guidance we need to face the troubles we have within our lives and certainly within our environment. We know that you are the Lord of order and law. You are the order of disease and health. We pray that you will enter into the hearts of men and our leaders, that they may lead us out of this morass in which we find ourselves. Grant us your help, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.